you can use the estimates from your model to predict new data points, given values from the model parameters. For our simple example, we just need to know the trial type to make a prediction. So for congruent trials, you'd predict that a new data point would be equal to the intercept estimate plus the trial type estimate multiplied by the effect code for congruent trials. So the intercept estimate is our estimate of mu. So we have mu estimate, and we can get that from the model. Um, let's quickly actually summarize the model and remind ourselves. So my LM, we've reset this so that the intercept mu was simulated as 800 milliseconds, and we got almost exactly that as our estimate. And we simulated an effect of 50 milliseconds and um, in our simulation that ended up being closer to 43 milliseconds. Our standard error here is 50 milliseconds and we got almost exactly that back. Okay, so how do we get this number from our model? We can use my LM and then the dollar sign notation to get the coefficients. So it has many coefficients here. Um, so we can use this double brackets notation to get the intercept. Remember the intercept has a capital I and brackets around it. You could also get them by position, so just number one, but this is clear. So mu est, it's now 800. So we've gotten this parameter from the model now instead of our simulation. And we need an estimate of our trial type effect. So we'll call it TT est. And again, we can use this kind of notation, but instead of the intercept, we want trial type E. If we run this, TTS is 42.9. And then what's our code for the trial for a congruent trial? It's this trial types variable. And then congruent. So negative 0.5. We can set this to the variable TT code. So now if you want to create a new congruent trial, so what's the reaction time that you would predict for a new congruent trial? It's the estimate of mu plus the estimate of the trial type effect, which is multiplied by the effect code. So a new congruent reaction time, our model predicts, should be 778 milliseconds. Now if we want to create a new incongruent trial type, we can use the other trial code. So actually maybe we should have called this one con code and then incon code. So our incongruent code here, positive 0.5. So our predicted reaction time for incongruent trials is 821 milliseconds. Now, this is all a lot of faff. Um, we can do this quite a bit quicker with the predict function. So we can use predict. And then the first argument is your linear model. So my underscore LM. And we also need to give it some new data. The new data needs to have columns that represent the values you want to use in the prediction. Now again, the only value that we need for to make this prediction is the trial type dot E column. So our new table needs to have a trial type dot E column. 
So this argument is called new data, and we can just set it to a tibble where there's trial type dot e equals positive 0 0.5. And this will predict again, 821 milliseconds. We can set it to negative 0 0.5. You can even set it to values that don't actually exist, like zero, and that will give you the um, intercept estimate back. You can also set this table to a whole new set of values. So let's set it to negative 0 0.5 and 0 0.5. So we have two rows in our new table. and get two values. So you could give it a set of um, simulated values for your predictors and predict the value that your model will give you.